हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज वॉट योर स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन सो योर स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन द इकाल पी एस एन इंट्रोड्यूस दिस कंसेप्ट ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन इन एटीन नाइन्टी थ्री इट इज़ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मेजर ऑफ डिस्पोजन एंड इज वाइडली यूज इन मेनी स्टैटिस्टिकल फॉर्मूला स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज योर रूट मीन स्क्वायर डिविएशन और द मीन एरर और यू कैन से मीन स्क्वायर एरर Okay. It is a square root of the means of the square deviation from the arithmetic mean. It provides a accurate result. In this method, drawback of ignoring the algebraic signs is overcome. Okay, by taking the square of the deviation, therefore making all the deviation as a positive. Standard deviation is also denoted by Greek letter uh, sigma. okay so here we are saying what we are going to ignore the algebraic sign okay in mean deviation we use what mode of t which is used to ignore the sign here what we are going to do we are going to square that for example if your deviation is supposed to in mean deviation we consider it as what 2 but in your standard deviation we going to square this deviation means what d square so if you are having a deviation as minus 2 we going to square it so ultimately it will become what positive that's why it is called as what your square deviation we going to square the deviation okay so it will make the values what positive so again we going to find the standard deviation for individual series discrete series and the continuous series this method is adopted when mean is uh, the whole number of an even number these are the steps of your individual observation okay so find out the actual mean of the series that is what your x bar we going to find what x bar after that what we going to do find out the deviation of each value from the mean okay which is equals to t is equals to x minus x bar square the deviation and take the total squared deviation that is summation of d square okay then we going to divide this summation of t square by n and we going to take a square root of this okay so the formula is what sigma is equals to root summation d square divided by n or summation x uh, sorry root summation x minus x bar square divided by n we'll take one example based on this so this is what your individual data okay so the 14 22 9 15 20 17 12 11 these are the values so how many observations are there there are total there are total eight observations are there okay this is what your individual data okay so we going to find the mean of this okay now how to find mean so this is the formula for mean x bar is equals to summation x divided by n okay what is the summation of this column this summation of this column is what 120 how many observations are there eight observations are there so 120 by 8 is equals to what 15 so your x bar is equals to what 15 after that what we going to do we going to find the deviation how to find deviation d is equals to x minus x bar so what is your first value of x that is 14 14 minus your 15 x bar is what 15 okay here you have x bar so x minus x bar so 14 minus 15 minus 1 22 minus 15 7 here we are not going to ignore any signs we going to write the signs okay then we going to square this deviation okay likewise we going to find the rest of the values and after that you going to square the deviation how to square it so minus 1 into minus 1 is equals to what your 1 okay so this is what 1 so 7 into 7 square of 7 is uh, 49 square square of minus 6 is 36 square of 0 is what 0 likewise you going to find the rest of the value okay after that you going to find the summation of this column okay so this is the formula for your standard deviation for the individual series that is the square root of summation d square divided by n so summation of d square column is what your 140 divided by number of observation is what 8 okay 
So after finding out the value, you'll get a value as what? 4.18. This is about what your individual series. Okay. Then we're going to find the uh, standard deviation for the discrete series. Following are the steps. Find out the actual mean of the series, same as your previous one. Find out, we're going to find the deviation, how to find deviation, x minus x bar. Then we're going to square the deviation, d square. Okay, after squaring that deviation, you're going to multiply with what? The frequency f. Then you'll get what? f into d square. So this is the formula for your standard deviation. So sigma is equals to square root of summation f d square divided by n. Here, you're going to first find out the d square and then you're going to multiply with what? Your frequency. Okay. Then, we'll take one example based on this. So, the following data is for what? Your uh, discrete series. Okay. So, you have a marks and the number of students. So, 10, uh, 8 students are having 10 marks, 12 students having 20 marks, 20 students having 30 marks likewise. Okay, so we are going to write all the data into the table. You have your x value that is marks and f that is your number of students. Okay, after that we are going to find what? Your mean. Okay, so what is a mean for your uh, discrete series? Mean for a discrete series is what? Summation of fx divided by n. Okay, where n is what? n is what summation of frequency so we're going to find the summation of this column so your n will become what 60 okay so here we need to find what we know f we know x we need to find the product of this f into x so the product of f into x is what this column you know how to find the product now 80 10 into 8 80 20 into 12 uh, uh, 2 40 likewise you're going to find all the values of fx after finding out the all values you're going to add all the values that is what 1850 1850 divided by 60 the last value is what 30.8 this is what your mean okay after finding out the mean you're going to find what the deviation so deviation is equals to what x minus x bar that is what 10 minus uh, 30.8 that is minus 20.8 20 minus uh, 30.8 minus 10.8 so likewise you're going to find all the values of the deviation after finding out deviation you're going to square it okay so these are the values for your d square after finding out the value of d square you're going to multiply this d square with the frequency and you'll get the column f into d square okay so you're going to find the values for f into d square and this is the formula for your standard deviation. So, so standard deviation that is sigma is equals to what? Root summation f into d square divided by n which is equals to 10,858.40 uh, uh, divided by 60. After the calculation you will get value as what? 13.45. Then you are going to find the... Um, standard deviation for continuous series standard deviation for continuous series the formula is what root of summation f into d dash square divided by n minus the uh, summation of f into d dash divided by n whole square into c okay where c is what your common factor and d dash is what the deviation but here the dev deviation is different means what we're going to subtract your arithmetic mean uh, from the m so m minus a that is actually our assume mean divided by c where c is what your common factor so following are the steps for your uh, standard deviation first we're going to find the mid value of the each group then we're going to assume one of the mid value as what average which is denoted by a which is used to find your d dash okay then find out the deviation of each mid value from the assume average means what we're going to find this term and denote uh, and denote this deviation by d okay so your d is equals to what m minus a okay then what we're going to do if the class intervals are equal take that common factor as what your class interval Okay, then uh, 
divide each deviation by the common factor and denote it by what d dash so d dash is equals to what m minus a, a sorry m minus a divided by c multiply this d dash with what your frequency so you will get this term right after multiplying uh, next what you are going to do you are going to find the square of your d dash okay after finding the square of d dash you are going to multiply this d dash with what your frequency f so you will get this term okay and then we are going to substitute all the values into the formula and then we are going to find the, the standard deviation for the continuous series so we will take one example so this is the example for your standard deviation for the continuous series so here we have classes and the frequency okay so the classes are being what 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 likewise okay so the frequency for 0 to 10 is what 8 <coughs> so we are going to find the solution okay <coughs> so we are going to write what your formula first so sigma is equals to square root of summation f d dash square divided by n minus summation f into d dash divided by n square into c that is what your common factor okay so first step is what to write down the data and after that we're going to find the middle value okay now what do you mean by middle value so the first class is what 0 to 10 so the middle value for 0 to 10 is what 0 plus 10 <coughs> divided by 2 sorry is what 10 by 2 which is equals to 5 so the first midpoint is what 5 so you know how to find the midpoint you're going to find all the midpoints for each class after finding out the mid point, we are going to find the d dash. How to find d dash? m minus a divided by c. So, m means what? Your mid point. We are going to assume one of the mid point as what? Your, your mean, assume mean. So, we are going to consider this 35 as your assume mean. The center value of your mid point actually. Okay. So, m minus 35 divided by 10. So, c is equals to 10. Why? Your class interval is what? Same over here. So, 10 minus 0, 10, 20 minus 10, uh, 10, <coughs> 30 minus 20, 10. So, the class interval is same for each class. So, we are going to consider c is equals to what? 10. After that, putting all the values into the formula, you will get d dash for each class. Okay. For example, over here, mid value is what? 5 okay so the 5 minus 35 is equals to what minus 30 minus 30 divided by 10 you will get what minus 3 likewise you are going to find the all values for your d dash okay after that we written what your frequency column okay so uh, look into the formula we need what summation of f d dash okay so we are going to find f d dash okay that is a product of t dash and the f so the minus 3 into 8 minus 24 minus 2 into 12 minus 24 you're going to find all the values of f into d dash and you're going to sum this column okay where your n is what summation of frequency this is the summation of your frequency that is 71 okay after that what we need we need f into d dash square so for that first we're going to find what d dash square so this is a column for your d dash square so the first value is what minus 3 so minus 3 into minus 3 <coughs> 9 minus 2 into minus 2 4 same way you're going to find square of this deviation okay after finding out the square of this deviation what are you going to write you are going to multiply that square deviation with the frequency that is what you have. So, 8 into 9, 72, 12 into 4, 48. Likewise, you are going to find the values for each class. After finding the value for each class, you are going to sum this column. So, the summation of this column is what? 210. <coughs> So after now we got all the values you are going to put all the values into the formula that is root of 210 divided by 71 that is the summation of frequency okay minus 30 means summation of fd is what 30 divided by again n that is what 71 divided into sorry square into 10 that is what your common factor okay which is equals to after the calculation you will get the value as what 
I hope you understood. Then you have a coefficient of variation. Now, what do you mean by various variance? Variance is the square of the standard deviation is called as what your variance. So you can write variance is equals to sigma square. Okay, so the sigma is equals to root of variance. Okay, so the coefficient of standard deviation is sigma by uh, your x bar, and the coefficient of standard uh, variance is what sigma divided by um, x bar into hundred. Okay, so we're going to see one example based on that. So in two factories A and B engage in a same industrial area. The average weekly wages in rupees and the standard deviation are follows. So they have given the data for two factories. Suppose the first factory is being A and the second factory is what B. Average means what your mean. Okay, this is what your X bar. <coughs> so X bar for A, X bar for B is given. Standard deviation means what your sigma. Okay. So each factory has its own standard deviation, then number of workers that you can consider as what? N. Okay. So which factory A or B pays out the large amount of weekly wages? We're going to find <coughs> which uh, factory is going uh, is paying uh, more payment. Okay. So how to find out that? So the total wages paid by the factory A is what? Yeah, thirty four point five into this uh, the number of worker that is four six seven uh, which is equals to what here yeah. one six uh, sorry sixteen thousand four hundred twenty two okay means what what we are doing what do you mean by x bar x bar is equals to what summation of x divided by n what we want to know we want to know the total summation of uh, sorry summation of x we know the mean what is the mean 34.5 okay is equals to summation of x what is n that is the number of workers 476 okay here we are dividing the 467 so uh, if you want to take this term over here so we are going to multiply it right so 34.5 into <coughs> 467 so the multiplication of this is what 16 point sorry 16000 Four hundred twenty-two. Same way, we going to <coughs> find the total wages paid by the factory B. We going to use the same logic. Okay, so the total wages paid by the factory B is what fourteen fourteen thousand nine hundred thirty-four. Okay, so therefore you can say that A pays out the large uh, <coughs> pay out the large than your B because sixteen thousand is greater than the Fourteen thousand. Okay. Then we're going to find what the second question is. What which factory A or B has a greater variability in individual wages? Okay. Now, if you want to compare two companies, you're going to find what the coefficient of variance. Okay. So this is the coefficient of variation for the A factory. So sigma by uh, x bar into hundred. That is what five divided by Thirty-four point five into hundred, which is equals to what your fourteen point forty-nine. Okay, now this uh, coefficient of variation uh, is in percentage actually. So similar way, we are going to find the uh, coefficient of variation for B also. So the coefficient of variation of for B is what fifteen point sixty. Uh, sorry, seventy-nine. So here we can see that factory B has a greater variability in the individual wages since the uh, your coefficient of variation of factory B is greater than the uh, coefficient of variation of factory A. Okay, same way we going. This is the another question for you. Okay, so the coefficient of variation of two series are fifty eight point. Fifty-eight percentage and the forty-nine, sixty-nine uh, percentage. Okay, they have given what the value for your uh, coefficient of variation means what CV. The standard deviation uh, is given. We need to find what arithmetic mean. Now, what is the formula for your coefficient of variation? The coefficient of variation is what sigma divided by x bar into hundred. We need to find this term actually. We know this term. 
this term okay so we're going to put the values into the formula after putting the values in the formula for the first series the answer is what 36.6 okay <coughs> and the after putting the values into the second series you will get answer as what 22.6 thank you